it's a simple binary system. Muscle testing is a binary system. So like a light switch, if you turn it on, the light goes on. Why does it go on? Because the electricity can flow. You switch it off, the electricity gets blocked. So muscles, if you test a muscle, if the muscle stays strong, it means the electricity from the brain to the muscle is firing. And if the muscle goes weak, it means uh, something blocked that, you know, that electrical flow. So the electricity, uh, essentially that's, you know, our brain generates electricity, sends it down a nerve, and causes a muscle to fire or not. So it's an electrical system. So even though we're, this technique's called muscle testing, we're not actually testing muscles, we're using muscles to test the nerves. So all the information, her brain has all the information, but the brain has another, uh, there's another aspect of the brain is that it controls all the muscles. So it has all the information and it controls the muscles. So hold your arm nice and strong. I'm going to push. So resist my push. I'm going to push towards your feet. Resist. Okay. So there we go. Nice and strong. It, I'm not trying to overpower it. It's kind of like if a door is closed, and, you know, like if a door is latched and you push on it, you don't have to push real hard to feel that it's latched. Right? It's, if it's latched, it's kind of like that. There, there's no give to it. So we're not, this isn't a, rest, a wrestling match. We're just trying to see, is the electricity flowing to the muscle hold strong? Good. So what's your name? Christy. Christy. Okay, say my name is Christy. Say, say my name is Christy. Hold strong. So when we say something that her supercomputer, her brain, agrees with, the electricity flows to the muscle. So her brain is transmitting information and saying, yeah, my name is Christy, that's true information. The electricity flows. So the muscle is actually the receiver. So it's determining is that true or false. So uh, say, say I'm checking. I'm Hold strong. You hear a supercomputer. Hold nice and strong. I'm going to push with my pinky. Say I'm checking. The electricity just goes off. I'm going to use my pinky. Say my name is Chris. My pinky's gonna break before I can push it right down. So that little party trick is very useful. <laughs> we can use that now to tap into the brilliance of what her brain knows. So yes or true is strong. So that's kind of the logic of it. The other way the muscle test works is if there's no issue, hold strong. So I'm touching her shoulder. Her muscle stays strong. That means there's no issue. Okay. I touch her upper neck, strong, there's no issue, there's no issue. We get right there, her arm goes weak. As a chiropractor, I know there's an issue there. Here, right here, right there. And it just goes dead weak right there. So, just holding that, we're just, that says this bone is out of place and it's pinching a nerve, so I'm just gonna go pop. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> if there's something on the right, there's always something on the left. So I found that by touching it and finding where it was weak. So there's always something, kind of a counterbalancing spot on the other side. So we're going to find, because in the cervical spine, there's seven vertebrae. So posterior means it's out on the back side, lateral means it's out on the side. So I could check, hold. So now I'm going to find what's on out on the right without touching it. So I'm just going to do it verbally. Hold right C1. She stays strong when I say right C1. Essentially, I'm using my mind to scan her, you know, her neck. C1 on the right. C2 on the right. C3. Right C4. Right C5. You could feel it about to go weak, right? Yeah. Even just when I thought it, she could feel her system drop to weak. So right foot pulls from right posterior C5. So that means it's not out on the back side. Posterior and lateral, right lateral. So not only <coughs> telling me which bone's out, it tells me how it's out. So this one's out laterally right there. There. Ready? There it is. So the reason I use adjustments to demonstrate that is <coughs> 
Because what if I tested like she's low in vitamin C? How would you know if that was true or not, right? Okay, how do we know? <laughs> but with the adjustment, if if that you know if what I found was not real, I would have done that and nothing would have happened. So <clears throat> the muscle is the receiver. Her body's sending out a signal. I've got energy blocked here in my neck, and the muscle is the way you kind of see the transmitter receiver analogy. Well. The other thing that Tesla figured out was remote control. So this was like 1900. He figured out, he put a little toy boat. He did this in Madison Square Garden, like with thousands of people watching. He created a, some kind of body of water, put a boat in there, and using a remote control, drove this boat around. So we can actually use muscle testing uh, as a remote control as well. So I can use myself as a surrogate. So she's sending information. <coughs> So we just got C5 on the right. I can muscle test like this, just holding my fingers together. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. So left T1, left T2. So the, the T's are all the vertebrates that have ribs attached to them. So there's 12 of those. Left T1, so Chris, Christy has uh, left T1 is fine, left T2, left T3, left T4, left T5. So my body says her left T5 is out of place. So her body's transmitting it. My muscle test, my nervous system, my subconscious mind is tapped into that information. I could do it, you know, distance isn't an issue. I could do it, you know, across the way. Strong C5 is. So the bottom of the scapula there is around T6. Full strong, full strong, that's T6. So if we just go up a little, there's T5. There we So. I use the adjustments, like I say, just to demonstrate that the information is real. Whether the information is structural information, like bones out of place, or if it's chemical information, like what your body is allergic to, or if you have a weak organ, or if there's an emotional blockage, let's say you're holding on to sadness or anger, it's all just information, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we can access all of that, but that's miraculous. This is. This is the next breakthrough in the whole art of healing, is how to listen to the body instead of using my puny little intellect to try to figure out if something as complex as the supercomputer.